The Razer Wolverine stands out in the crowded world of premium controllers, not just for its build quality and satisfying mechatactyl buttons, but for the sheer depth of customization it offers right out of the box. But if you're only using it with its default settings, you're barely tapping into its potential. This controller is engineered for one purpose, to give you a measurable, tangible advantage in competitive gaming. The ability to reprogram every button, adjust trigger sensitivity to the millimeter, and execute complex actions with a single press can be the difference between a clutch victory and a frustrating defeat. However, the process of unlocking this power can seem a bit fragmented as it spans to different platforms. The native Xbox environment and the more expansive Razer Synapse ecosystem on PC. This guide is designed to be the definitive 2025 walkthrough that bridges that gap. We will start with the essential setup on your Xbox console using the official Razer Controller Setup app, where we'll map the extra multifunction buttons and configure your triggers and thumbsticks. Then, we will connect the controller to a Windows PC and dive into the incredible power of Razer Synapse, where the real magic happens with macros, advanced profile management, and Chroma RGB customization. By the end of this video, you will have a controller that is not just personalized, but precision tuned to your reflexes and playstyle for both Xbox and PC gaming. Let's begin where every Wolverine owner should start, the Razer Controller Setup for Xbox app. This is a free download from the Xbox Microsoft Store and it's your gateway to fundamental, yet powerful, customization directly on your console. The interface is clean and intuitive. The moment you open it with your Wolverine connected, you're presented with a digital model of your controller. The first and most important tab is button mapping. This is where you assign new functions to the six extra multifunction buttons, the four on the top and the two extra bumpers. A common and highly effective setup for first person shooters is to map the face buttons A, B, X and Y to these top paddles. Why? It's all about maintaining thumb contact with the right thumbstick. You can jump, reload, swap weapons, and perform melee attacks without ever taking your thumb off the aim stick, which is a colossal advantage in any fast-paced shooter. Don't feel you need to map all four paddles at once if it feels overwhelming. Start with just two, map A and B to the top to paddles. Use that for a few gaming sessions until it becomes muscle memory, then consider adding the other two. The next critical tab is trigger sensitivity. The Wolverine features a physical hair trigger mode switch, but this software allows for even finer digital tuning. You can set the actuation point of the triggers with a slider. For shooters, you want this to be as short as possible, so the moment you barely touch the trigger, your gun fires. For racing games, you might want the full analog range for precise throttle control. You can create different profiles for these genres and switch between them on the fly. Finally, don't overlook the thumbstick sensitivity section. You can adjust the sensitivity curve for each stick individually. A popular pro tip is to use the instant preset for the right stick in FPS games, which reduces the initial dead zone and can make your aim feel more responsive and immediate. Now, we level up. While the Xbox app is great for core remapping, the true powerhouse for programming your Razer Wolverine is Razer Synapse on a Windows PC. This is where you unlock features like macros, advanced chroma lighting, and hyper-specific profile management. The first step is to download and install Razer Synapse 3 from Razer's website. Once installed, connect your Wolverine via the included USB cable. It will appear in the Synapse dashboard under Controller. Click on it and you'll enter a customization suite that is far more detailed than the Xbox app. The customized tab will look familiar, allowing for button remapping but with a crucial addition, the ability to assign macros and hypershift functions. Hypershift is Razer's term for a shift key. You can designate one button, like a back paddle, as your hypershift key. 
when you hold it down, every other button on the controller can have a second, completely different function. This effectively doubles the number of commands at your fingertips without adding any physical clutter. It's perfect for mapping less critical but still useful commands like emotes, scoreboard, or push to talk for voice chat. But the crown jewel of Synapse is the macros feature. A macro is a recorded sequence of actions, button presses, delays, and stick movements that can be executed with a single button press. Let's say you're playing a game where the most effective move is a quick, specific combination of buttons, like Y, Y, X, B. Instead of trying to press that sequence perfectly in the heat of battle, you can record it once in the macro recorder and then assign that macro to a single paddle on your Wolverine. When you press that paddle, the entire sequence executes flawlessly and instantly. This is not about cheating. It's about reducing the physical execution barrier so you can focus on strategy and positioning. When creating macros, the most important setting is the replay mode. For most in-game actions, you'll want to use toggle or play once. Avoid using macros for fully automated rapid fire in competitive multiplayer, as this can often violate a game's terms of service. The intent is to execute complex combos, not to automate core gameplay mechanics. Let's translate all this into actionable, pro-level configurations for popular games. For a competitive FPS like Call of Duty or Halo, your primary goal is to keep your thumbs on the sticks. Map the essential actions jump a, crouch a slide B, and reload X to the top paddles. In the trigger settings, both in the Xbox app and by flipping the physical hair trigger switch, set your left and right triggers to their shortest actuation point. This gives you the fastest possible trigger response. For the thumbsticks, experiment with the instant or linear sensitivity curve in the Razer software to find what gives you the most precise aim control. For a game like Fortnite, the building mechanics add another layer of complexity. This is where macros and hypershift can be game changers. You could create a macro that, with one paddle press, switches to your wall piece and immediately places it. Or, use hypershift. Hold one paddle to turn your face buttons into dedicated build pieces so you can build rapidly without cycling through a menu. For single-player action RPGs, comfort and efficiency are key. Map dodge, roll to a paddle for easier access during combat. You can also create a simple turbo macro for the a button to handle repetitive actions like skipping dialogue or opening numerous chests without wearing out your thumb. A crucial best practice, regardless of the game, is to use the profile system. In Razer Synapse, you can create a dedicated profile for each of your main games. Synapse can be set to automatically switch to the correct profile when it detects that specific game is running on your PC. This means you'll always have the perfect configuration loaded without having to remember to switch manually. This level of automation ensures your customized edge is always active when you need it most. As we conclude this deep dive into programming the Razer Wolverine, it's vital to address the responsible use of the powerful tools at your disposal. The macro functionality, in particular, is incredibly potent. While using it to execute a complex combo in a single-player game or to map a non-combat function is perfectly fine. Employing it to create fully automated rapid-fire or other actions that provide an inhuman advantage in player-versus-player matches can be considered a violation of most games' terms of service. The goal of this customization is to enhance your personal skill and comfort, not to replace it with automation. It's about creating a controller that works in harmony with your reflexes, not one that plays the game for you. Always prioritize fair play and check the specific rules of any competitive game you participate in. To recap, you now possess the complete knowledge chain. You started with the foundational Razer controller setup app on Xbox, mastering button remapping and sensitivity adjustments. You then graduated to the advanced capabilities of Razer Synapse on PC, harnessing the power of macros, hypershift, and automated profile management.
Your razor, Wolverine, is no longer a standard peripheral. It is a custom-tuned instrument for competitive gaming. I encourage you to start with one change, perhaps mapping jump to a paddle and feel the difference it makes. Now, I want to hear from you. What's the most game-changing configuration you've created for your Wolverine? Have you built a macro that completely transformed your gameplay in a specific title? Share your insights and discoveries in the comments below to help our entire community level up. If this Ultimate 2025 guide helped you unlock the full potential of your hardware, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more content that gives you the competitive edge. Now get into your settings and start building the controller of your dreams.